Today I'm gonna clean my alocasia. I've named her a Zori here. And the reason why I'm gonna clean her today is because of spider mites. I think um, I've been hearing how alocasias just love to attract spider mites and definitely my alocasias are no different and I can tell you these are definitely the last alocasias I'm gonna get because just dealing with the spider mites has definitely tested my uh, patience, increased my frustration and just, it's just, it just feels like high maintenance. So why keep it? So as you can see, uh, just probably right in front of me, uh, there is a kind of cut leaf here. Um, she has put out uh, two new shoots and then each of these shoots, I've cleaned these about, I guess, once a month. And as I'm working here in my office, I kind of give it like a look every once in a while and definitely has a, another large buildup of spider mites. So it's time to get a cleaning. Okay, so I'm gonna show you just a home remedy that I put together really quickly. Obviously, you know, just like yourself, you look online to kind of see what is everyone else kind of like making. So here's my solution. It is a alcohol-based uh, solution, right? So I use 70% uh, alcohol, uh, water, and a little uh, dish soap. So first off is I will first put in the alcohol. And typically what I'll do is I'll do about 30%. I'll fill up my bottle about 30% with the alcohol. Just kind of, I just like eyeball it. I don't want too much because if you have too much, then I think it, it, I think it does like harm the plants. I'm not sure. Okay, and I'll just kind of fill up the rest with water. I definitely use a lot of this. So as you can tell, right, I'm gonna fill up this bottle like the whole way and then we'll see how much I use. And then just to top it off, just a few drops of the dish soap. It allows it to, uh, I guess, you know, when you put water and alcohol together, they like to separate. So it's like a coagulant kind of makes it uh, stick together here or mix together really well. All right. I'm not going to shake this. Just make sure it's on there fairly tight. I'm just gonna tip it up, rotate it up and down. Okay, and then with that, uh, I do have some paper towels. So what I'll do is, I typically like to spray it on, like the paper towel, I'll spray it on the leaf. All right, so I'm gonna kind of show you how I do this. All right. Uh, I think first off, I'll start off with just like the baby leaf. I like to, here, so I'm gonna fold this up. Get some spray going. I do like to make sure it has like a, not like a direct spray, but allows it to kind of like mist on there. So I'll just kind of put like a nice little coat of this spray on there. Let it sit for just a little bit. Uh, some people definitely say you can leave it on there for about like 10 minutes. I've done this for another alocasia that I have and it left a whole bunch of burn marks on there. Uh, it could have been the spray when I was leaving out there, but I did it outside so it could have also, the sun could have helped uh, damage the leaf a lot more and I'll probably show that to you. Actually, I'll just show it to you right now. So this is kind of what happened. And I kind of sprayed it. This was like a newer leaf. I had it outside and then all these, I think it just kind of burned, burned the leaf. So that was definitely not good. So you definitely want to get the top of the leaf, but then you also want to get the bottom. I think that's always like the hard part. Mites don't care. Uh, what if it's a top part of the leaf or the bottom, they really just kind of go for it. 
All right, so I'll just kind of spray here. I've seen some mites on the base here of the trunk, the stem, kind of wipe the whole stem down. Because I think the hard part too is that I know I have mites all up in the soil, right? So on top, I got systematic, uh, systemic granules uh, just kind of hanging out there. Is it really doing anything? I'm not sure. So this is just part of my overall maintenance, my pest maintenance. All right, so definitely give it a good soaking, a good wipe down. And I'll just kind of clean it up. All right. I am definitely not being as thorough as I probably should be. Probably, probably because I've just done this and I know I'm gonna have to come back and just do it again. And I'm sure you guys will say, well, why don't you just take the plant out and you know, just uh, replace the dirt, wash it out. Yes, I've done that already. I've done that. So it just tells me that I haven't fully gotten rid of them. So that's what the maintenance part of it. All right. Uh, this middle leaf right here, this is the newest leaf that kind of came out. Uh, you can tell, right, there's gonna be a new leaf that'll form um, just right out of here, right out of the stem. And this is a, a slightly older one. I would say that these leaves are about, uh, I would say about like a, about two months old, maybe like two months for uh, this leaf right here, about two months. And then probably like a month old for this, this leaf. So as you can tell, right, the, the leaves are, you know, they're, they're fairly large, they're getting there. But this leaf, I don't know if you can tell. So I have some, um, I'll kind of split the footage a little bit because I want to show you what the mites look like, where they're at. There's a little webbing, you can really tell. And you can definitely see the mites moving around. So I'll kind of, I'll show you uh, that as well. So here we go, let's murder these mites because I really hate them. Yep, and your solution is definitely gonna drip on the floor. You can wipe it up later. I mean, it's alcohol, it'll, it'll evaporate. It's not gonna, you know, shouldn't really hurt your floor. You can put a towel down below, that's fine. And then just get a wiping. I think there's one thing I'm sure people are worried about is, am I gonna damage the leaf, right? Cause you know, leaves, this is kind of how the plant grows, right? It soaks up the sun, it's, it transfers that, allows the plant to grow. And then if you see, right, it has like all kinds of soap on, like it's little suds on here. Right, so the other thing I've heard from others is like, oh, you're gonna clog up the pores of the leaves. I'm sure that might be the case. I guess I'm just, I'd rather kill the, the mites because this plant, right, this alocasia, it continues to grow, right? So I don't think it has like an issue with it. So you definitely wanna get in there Get it really good. And definitely another key indicator to know if you have mites is there's gonna be these, it's like little white webbings um, that you'll see on the leaf. It really feels like you have like, um, like a spider web um, on there, but Oh, and you definitely, you gotta get the backside. I can definitely see in between, we'll call it the veins of the leaf. I don't know exactly how to call it, but I can definitely see they are just infested with these white webbings. I'm not sure 
what the eggs look like for uh, these mites. I don't know. I might have to like look that up. But, you know, are they like nesting um, on it? Um, are they, I always see them moving on the edge of the leaf, right? So I can always, when I'm cleaning, I can always see the mites just like on the edge. So I can definitely tell like where they're at. So ideally, you know, you're supposed to leave the, the alcohol in there to just, that's what, that's the primary, um, primary ingredient that kills the mites. So you definitely want to get in there pretty good. I know I'm not killing them 100%, but that's okay. So since I work at home every day, I will just give it a quick look over and see, are you guys coming back or are you not? And, and typically what I'll do is, I'm sure that this is definitely not advised, but I do it anyway, because I don't care, because I really hate the, the mites, is that I'll spray the, the top layer uh, of the soil with this solution. I'm really hoping that it's more of like, you know, the alcohol uh, in here that'll help kill it and maybe just evaporate or, you know, not soak down as much into the soil. But I definitely put a, a little kind of barrier, a little layer um, on there. Okay, so next off is I'm gonna clean up uh, this second leaf just right here and I'm just gonna go through it and let's just kind of speed it up okay and I'll see you on the other side once I'm all done cleaning All right, and there she is, uh, cleaned up uh, the second leaf. I've done it uh, front to back. You can definitely tell, right, there's no kind of like suds, right, from like the soap. I kind of just wiped it down. It's okay if it's a little, uh, you know, wet on top because obviously uh, it will just dry, evaporate. Definitely want to kind of take a once over here in the back just to make sure you got most of it. All right, so that really just concludes uh, me cleaning my alocasia of some spider mites. And what I'll do is I'll try to take a, like a before and after and let's just kind of see how clean did I kill those spider mites. All right. So I believe that does it. Yep, just kind of take a look. And then the last thing I'll kind of leave you with is uh, when pests invade your plant collection, you definitely get a better appreciation for staring at leaves. I do stare at them fairly closely. I, you know, these spider mites, they're not going to jump out at you. They're not going to get you, but definitely I always wash my hands uh, before, actually at least at minimum after, you know, I kind of like look at the plants. I do smash up these mites with like my fingers whenever I see them. So I try to give a little cleaning, all right? Cause they are pretty invasive and you will definitely notice, right? With the first set of leaves, right? They're kind of, right? They kind of start a little, get a little brown, get a little yellow. Um, that's definitely uh, from the spider mites um, injuring uh, the leaf. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please come back. I'm hoping to provide you with some more content of how I take care of my plants within my office. I got a few series going, a few series in my head, and I hope to uh, put out some more for you. All right. Thank you for uh, watching, and until next time, take care. Be kind. Bye.